Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 36 through 40. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 36. A Linux administrator configured a local DNS server but is experiencing email connectivity issues. Which of the following commands could the administrator use to query the DNS server for mail server information? The answer is B. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. First, dig is a powerful command line tool for querying DNS servers to retrieve various types of DNS records, including mail exchange records. It 10.0.0.5 specifies the IP address of the DNS server to which the query should be directed. This is followed by the name of the resource. The command is then wrapped up by listing the type of query to be performed. Since we are looking for the email server records, it would be most appropriate to query the mail exchange records, which has a query type represented by the letters MX. Question 37. Which command should a system administrator use to restrict an application log file to only allow new log entries to be written while preventing the removal of existing log entries? The answer is A. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The change attribute command is used in Linux to modify file attributes. The plus A option sets the append only attribute for the specified file. When this attribute is set, the file can only be opened for writing in append mode. This means that new data can be added to the end of the file, but existing data cannot be modified or deleted. This is followed by the file path, an argument that specifies the path to the application log file that the administrator wants to modify using this command. Question 38. Which of the following commands will allow a systems administrator to determine if a service is running without any issues or errors? The answer is A. System CTL status. The command system CTL status is the preferred choice for a systems administrator seeking to ascertain if a service is functioning smoothly without any errors. This command, integral to the system D system and service manager utilized by modern Linux distributions, offers a comprehensive range of functionalities for managing and querying system services. When coupled with the status option system CTL, presents detailed insights into the operational status of a specified service in real time. Question 39. Which of the following commands will cause a service to start automatically at the next system restart and any subsequent system restarts? The answer is D. System CTL enable. The system CTL enable command configures a service to start automatically during system boot and subsequent restarts. Operating within system D, this command creates symbolic links to ensure the specified service initiates without manual intervention. Question 40. A Linux administrator is tasked with uninstalling a software package from a server. Which of the following RPM command options would be appropriate for this task? The answer is B. RPM dashi. The RPM dashi command is the preferred method for a Linux administrator to uninstall software from a server. Utilizing the RPM command to manage RPM packages, the dashi option specifically erases the specified package and its associated files from the system. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.